Find the equation of the line that passes through the following points, 2AB and AB plus 1. All right. Now, again, the hesitation with something like this is going to be that it's like, oh, man, what? They're giving me letters, right? How am I gonna, I'm going to find an equation with letters. Just pretend that they gave you 3, 8 and 4, 5. If those were the two points, could you find the equation of the line? Meaning, well, first of all, you might say, I don't even know what that means. What does it mean to find the equation of the line? Well, you know that this is the general formula, y is equal to mx plus b. So to find the equation of the line, basically you have to find out what defines the line. And what defines a line is the slope and its y-intercept. So to find an equation for the line means you're going to write this with some m value and some b value. An actual number, okay? Or an actual letter that represents a number. So you, what would you do? Well, first you might say, well, I know two points, so I'd find the slope. How? By using the slope equation. And then you say, well, once I know the slope, then I know the m value, and then I can plug in any of these two points in for y and x, and then I can solve for my b. And you'd be right. That's exactly how you would do it. So guess what? We're going to use this, a similar procedure, right? We're going to do the exact same thing, just with these letters. All right, don't let the letters scare you. Just got to think about the concept. So this is x1, y1, okay? And I'll call this x2, comma, y2. All right, so to find the slope, you can always find a slope between uh, two points if you know the two points. So let's set that up. So slope is going to be equal to y2 minus y1, all divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, I define my y2 to be, uh, excuse me, I define my y2 to be b plus 1. All right, so b plus 1. My y1 value, I defined it to be b. All right, so this is going to be minus b. And that's all now divided by my uh, x2 value is a. Okay. And my x1 value is 2a. So it's a minus 2a. So let's simplify now. Right? Notice how you have a positive b and a negative b in the numerator. So they just go bye-bye. Right? They cancel. That would be 0. It's b minus b is 0. So you're left with 1 in the numerator, right? And then, doing in the denominator, you're taking a and you're going to subtract 2a from it. So what are you going to be left with? You're going to be left with a, right? That's all. You're just going to simply be left with a. So a will be in the bottom, okay? And negative a, that is, right? Because there's two, right? It would be something like this. If you had to take 5 minus 2 times 5, what would be your answer? It's a 5 minus 10, and that should be negative 5, right? So notice this is a, and this was the 2 minus a. So whatever the answer is, it was just negative a, okay? All right, so now that's the slope, okay? We have 1 over negative a. All right, wonderful. Now that I know the slope, even though I know it's not satisfactory, right? We have a letter in here. Let's follow the concept. We said then we can find the equation of the line if we were to now take uh, one of these two points and plug them in for x and y in my equation along with the slope I found. That would allow me to find b, right? So let's do that. So let me, I'll write it again. So y is equal to mx plus b. Let's choose, I don't know, I'll just erase this x stuff now. Let's choose this point. So what's the y value of that point? Well, it's b. Okay, plug that in. Now here's the thing, right? The B is in this formula. This represents now. As soon as I start plugging in the B, I'm like, well, now wait a minute. I have two Bs. Are these Bs the same? Right. Well, no. Right. This B represents y-intercept, and this B represents a number for y. They might wind up being the same thing, but they might not be. So I'm going to write a little B sub int to call it the B-intercept. Okay. Uh, excuse me. To call it the y-intercept. All right. B i n t for y-intercept. Uh, maybe I should just call it the y i n t. Right. I'll just leave it alone. So here, the slope is now 1 over negative a, or negative 1 over a, you can write it either way, times then the x value of this point. So the x value is going to be 2a. Okay. And remember, I could write 2a over 1, right? I mean, that might simplify my life a little bit. And this is b i n t. So now let's do a little math, okay? What do you notice that's going to happen in this fraction? Well, you're multiplying these fractions, and since a is in the denominator and a is also in the numerator, they cancel, right? not a subtraction they're not going to cancel to zero they cancel to one right so now then it's basically a negative one times two 
Okay, because the negative doesn't cancel though. So this would be a negative two. Plus then the y-intercept. Remember, I want to solve for this, so what do we have to do? We have to simply add the two on over to the right-hand side, right? Add the two. Now I know it's not satisfactory again, but we realize that we have b plus two, okay? And now that is going to equal the y-intercept. So this is the y-intercept, okay? This is the value right here. Now, if I have my slope and my y-intercept, I can now plug this into my linear equation to create an right to plug it into the general equation to create the equation for the linear line. So again, y is equal to mx plus b, int. So the y value you leave alone. You don't, you're not going to plug anything in. The slope is then negative 1 over a, right, or negative, uh, or 1 over negative a. It doesn't matter how you write it. That's going to be times x. And then plus now, we're going to write b plus 2. And you can just put that in you can put that in parentheses if you want. You don't even have to put that in parentheses. It really doesn't matter. Okay? And this would be the equation. There's really not much I can simplify from here. Okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope this video helped. If it did, help us out. Subscribe. That'd be awesome. Tell your friends too. If you found this video helpful, someone in your class might also. And even some of your friends not in the class. I mean, we're doing a whole bunch of videos. We've got physics. We're going to have chemistry. We're going to have a whole bunch of stuff. All right? So guys, thank you so much. Take care.